What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to start off by saying a huge thank you to all of you guys who left such kind messages on my previous videos, all the prayers and everything that the, you guys sent. I really do appreciate it. Over on Instagram, I did tell you guys over on stories everything that was going on. So I'm just going to quickly kind of go over that in this video in case you guys don't follow me over there. But Two weeks ago, Riley tested positive for RSV. She had a fever, a cough, congestion, all of that kind of stuff. And if you've never heard of RSV, it's basically like a respiratory um, virus that kids tend to get apparently it's very popular most kids get it before the age of two i personally have never even heard of it before but the thing with the virus is it cannot be treated there's no antibiotics or anything like that that you can get you basically just have to treat the symptoms so we took her home and we were treating her for the congestion the fever and all of that stuff about a week later we did not see any improvement um, for maybe about four or five days straight she was getting up in the middle of the night around two o'clock and she would request for water and then she would basically just throw up all of the water and the congestion and mucus would come up and it would just be a whole cycle where we would be up for hours at that point. Um, I didn't see any improvement. Everything that I had read about it, it was basically saying around day five, it would peak and then you'd see some improvement and we were past that point. So my motherhood intuition kind of kicked in and I just felt like something was not right. So we took her back. We actually took her to the emergency room. They gave her a chest x-ray and ended up finding out that she had pneumonia on her right lung. So. From there, they admitted her into the hospital, they took blood, they gave her an IV to give her antibiotics to treat the pneumonia. So that is basically everything that happened. We were in the hospital from Friday until Sunday, and we finally were released on Sunday. And um, we have to give her some antibiotics for about seven days. So tomorrow, by the time this video goes up, will be her last day for that. But I do truly just want to say thank you guys because you didn't have to to leave those comments you didn't have to send those prayers so it is much appreciated which brings me to today's video which is basically getting my life back together during this whole entire time the week that she was sick even though we were home and then also the time that we were in the hospital we didn't cook I cleaned a little bit here and there just trying to disinfect and stay on top of everything but for the most part my house was a hot mess so basically what I'm going to be sharing with you guys in this video is just cleaning getting back on track getting back onto a routine also sharing with you guys a high protein recipe that's super easy to make so I hope you guys enjoy today's video if you do please give it a thumbs up it truly helps my channel out and with all that being said let's jump right into the video All right guys, so there is a ton of stuff that needs to get done in today's video. It is jam packed with all the cleaning motivation that you guys need. It has been about a week, week and a half since I have really kept up with all of the house cleaning and all of that stuff. So I am starting off in the kitchen because there was something that had gone bad in the refrigerator. Every time we had opened it, it spelt so badly. So I wanna go in there, wipe everything down, also throw out all of the expired foods. But before I can even start and get that situated, I definitely need to clean off all the countertops and tackle all of the dishes.
Now that we got all of that done, I'm gonna start on cleaning out this refrigerator. So I'm starting off from the bottom just because I had actually picked up a couple of Riley's foods, some of her cheeses and things like that. So I wanted to get all of this wiped out and cleaned out. As you can see, there is a bunch of stuff that has just spilled over time. So I'm wiping this down with a wipe and then I'm also going to pull the drawer out so I can get behind it because for some reason, there's things that still fall out of it. I have no idea how, but we are going to get this refrigerator cleaned again so it smells good and all of that stuff. To clean out the fridge, I'm actually moving from top to bottom. This way, if any of the crumbs or anything like that spills, it will knock it down to the lower shelf, which I will then get to. There was a couple of foods that had expired that had gone bad. Honestly, there was some stuff in here that I had completely forgot was there. And with all, all of us being sick, we basically had lost our appetite. So we really were not eating. And anytime we were eating, we were just ordering food out because I know I personally had no energy to get any type of cooking done. As I watch myself restock the fridge with all of our drinks, it reminds me of this TikTok that I had seen and it was basically saying how like everybody wants cold water but nobody wants to stock the fridge with cold water and it just kind of made me laugh a little bit because that is so true. But anyway, so now I'm just going to wash out all of these containers. Literally the dishwasher was already running so it made no sense to even stop that and add those in there and there was only a couple of things that needed to be washed really quick. So once I'm finished doing this then I also do want to scrub down the sink because it had been some time since I had gotten the chance to do so.
Now I'm gonna wipe down the countertops and in the refrigerator there were two extra clear bins which I plan on using in a future video so definitely make sure you guys are subscribed if you haven't done so already. I had seen this pretty cool hack that I want to test out and give it a try. So now that we have all of the countertops wiped down I'm gonna share with you guys a high protein meal. It turned out so good and definitely something I will make again. So I picked up this protein pasta from Target for two ounces. It is 10 grams of protein so that is really really good. Good. Then I picked up four chicken thighs. Now I actually meant to get the boneless kind but I was just rushing through the store and I picked up the bone in which is okay but the next time I do plan on making it I definitely want to get the boneless one. I'm seasoning both sides with paprika, onion powder, garlic powder and a little bit of oregano and salt actually. So I'm going to season both sides and I'm going to pop that into the air fryer. I believe I had it at 375 for 10 minutes. I didn't think that they were crispy looking enough so I popped them in again for another 10 minutes and they came out perfect. Once the chicken was fully cooked, I added some ragu sauce on top of it. And then I also went in with some part skim mozzarella cheese. And then I'm gonna pop that back into the air fryer, but I'm gonna put it on the broiler setting and cook that for another three minutes. Chicken parm is one of Nick's favorite meals and he absolutely loved it. He didn't even notice that I use protein pasta so it gives it a good thumbs up because you can't really tell the difference between regular pasta and protein pasta. Now moving on to the bathroom, I'm gonna do a quick wipe down in here, wipe down the toilet, the countertops, and then also wipe down the mirror. There really wasn't too much stuff that needed to get done in here but I did wanna come in and do a quick wipe down. Moving on upstairs to Riley's room, the night before we had given her one of those yogurt pouches. She must have fallen asleep before she actually got a chance to eat it. She literally rolled on top of it and it spat out everywhere. So I'm gonna clean this off. That's basically what you see, the purple stuff that is on her sheets. Also, now that she is feeling better, she's barely coughing at all. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, tomorrow's the last day for her antibiotics that she needs to take. So I think it's time that we can actually remove the pillow from underneath the mattress. This is a little hack that I like to use anytime she is sick. And then I'm gonna move on over to this little couch area. So anytime Riley has an accident where she pees or anything like that, instead of worrying about changing the bed and the mattress and all that stuff i literally just plop her on here because it's the middle of the night and i want to go back to sleep myself so i'm putting all of this stuff back and just going to quickly clean up her room
It's another day and I never really got the chance to thoroughly wipe down, disinfect, and clean our bedroom. So that is basically what I'm going to do. I am adamant about getting all of these germs out of this household. I do not want to be sick. It's not something that I enjoy and I really don't get sick too often. So I'm going to start off by disinfecting and cleaning our sheets. I'm going to run it on the disinfectant cycle. And then I'm also going in with some Lysol spraying the entire bed, including the headboard down switching out the sheets and then I'm going to work my way around the room and clean everything up. But I figured it's not on me Yeah, yeah, yeah The way you're making me shiver Your yeah. hands on myself I keep pulling the trigger All right This very thing for people like them Oh, no, no But darling, oh, my, my I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now I'm like a golden crown Merle and high up in the sky I'm going in and making sure I wipe everything down with either a Lysol wipe and then I'm even going in and spraying things down with the Lysol spray just to make sure that I get everything. So from the lamp switch to the remote control to the chair in the corner, I'm making sure to get it all.
guys, I am so backed up on laundry. This is two baskets filled to the top with a bunch of laundry that needs to be folded. Like I said, I just really hadn't really gotten to doing laundry. I was more focused on just wiping things down and disinfecting everything. So I'm gonna quickly go through and fold all of this laundry, put the stuff away so that I can kind of just work my way and getting back on track. 